Now one of the things about living on a bus is that you need to, or a tiny house, you need to be able to put everything away. So what I've done with this here is I'm just using like Velcro and I'll put it on and then that way I can stick this like say right there and then when I close it away it's gone and not out on the counter to be in our way then we need it we just come in here and click it open up same with the, you know, the, um, the keyboard, the mouse, the remote, and our media center, which is a Mac Mini down here, and a um, just a little lacy hard drive there, and then by velcroing them on there, we can um, we can get them out of our way. And, but not lose them and that's one of the beauties of the space age is velcro so one thing I'm going to do here is because my wife goes to bed she usually jumps in bed before I do and I watch a little bit more of this before I go to bed and I want to block the sound from traveling backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two panels that will go right here and Velcro onto the back of this. And then that way when the sound comes out, because most TVs the sound comes down at the bottom and a little bit at the back, it'll bounce off of that forward and not go backward into the sleeping area. And so we're going to build a little thing to go there. So if you're like me, every so often you get hooked on things that are a little expensive, like iced coffees from uh, Starbucks. I get into these patterns where I like it a little too much and then spend all my money on it. Well, I can't do that anymore because it costs too much money to drink this delicious iced coffee. So I'm going to show you how I make iced coffee uh, so that I don't have to spend $4 a cup. Okay, I got a big old tub of this old thing for making it. It used to hold protein powder. And what we're going to do is just take some 100% pure Colombian coffee from the Costco that's been pre ground. I can barely smell it. So that's three pounds. Half a half a pound is seven cups, right? Yeah. So we've got three pounds times two. I've got the flu right now. <laughs> three. So half a pound of coffee is to seven cups. No. Can you tell me please, what is it? I don't know. What does the recipe say? Seven cups of water goes with a half a pound. Seven cups of water with a half a pound. So if we have a full pound, that would be 14 cups of water. Yes. Right? So if we have three... That's too much. Pounds. Oh, it won't fit in there? No. So let's put 14 cups in there and see how much is 14 cups? Four cups. So one, two, three, four. <coughs> so that's four cups. And eight cups. Twelve cups. Let's round it up. Sixteen cups. Six 
16. Let's have a look here. So that's about how full it is. Then we'll just take this. We know that there's three pounds in here because it says on the top. So we're going to want a whole pound of coffee in there plus another quarter pound. So we'll do basically that much. Let's try that. Where are the measuring cups? Just right here. So let's just take this little scoop here and then we'll just start dumping it in there. So that's a third. We're going to put the other third in from the decaf one so that we don't get too jacked up when we're eating it or drinking it. Put this here for later. So a good cup of iced coffee at the Starbucks for Trenta costs $4.06 is ridiculous so this for a cup will cost us maybe 50 cents from now on to drink iced coffee and it will taste better because it will come from our water so we're going with a third of the can up from each decaf and regular to just adding that straight to our water like this Okay, so now we got all this stuff in here. Get all this, these grounds in there. So it just kind of looks like that on the top. So we're going to put the lid on of this old protein powder bucket thing. And then we're going to oh, 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 oh. I'll come in here and turn it upside down and all around. And shake it on. Now we want this to a nice good cold brew so we're gonna put it into the refrigerator where it will sit for how long it sits at room temperature oh that's what I meant room temperature for 20 it doesn't brew in the in the cold when I say cold brew they just mean you don't heat it up oh well now I know so we'll let this sit back here out of the way for 24 hours or 54, 54 hours? Oh, do we need to put vanilla in it? Oh, yeah, I need vanilla. So I just need a little tiny drop of vanilla in there. One tablespoon. So we come in here and we will find some vanilla. Way down here. There it is. And one tablespoon, you said? Yeah, because it'll be gross. Right. Ugh! What in the hell? It glued itself on. This plastic part didn't get taken off, and now it's become like a glue. There we go. One tablespoon. Do you shake it up? Let's use this little teaspoon here. No, I won't. Alright, so we'll just put like this much in. 
We don't want too much. There we go. Ready to be delicious. Dirt just a little. So, I think the note here is it is kind of like a, like kind of soupy like that. So that's what we want. Yep. Just kind of stir it, shake it, shake it, stir it, just to get it started. Get that vanilla mixed in, and now we'll just let that sit overnight until tomorrow in this little hot of goodness. Then tomorrow we'll have iced coffee. Off our hand. Rinse off the spoon. There we go. Sweet. Alright, it's been a couple days. It smells like coffee. So, take a picture. So, where's the strainer thing? Think about where it might be. There. Here. It is right. Oh, no. It's right there. You're looking at it. It's upside down. See it? You see the wire? The wire mesh. Oh, I used it. It's in the dish rack, I think. Sorry. Freaking me out. So we'll need this little wire strainer, like that. And then we'll take just a ton, one of these paper towels, put it on in there like that. Then we'll just dump it in. So we'll do this for the next hour, and then we'll have iced coffee. So as we go, it's going to slow down. The way we'll just deal with that is we'll just shift the paper towel a little bit like that. And there we go. One cup down, 100 more to go.